Hello, my name is Jacob and I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of the Every Prompt Playground uh, to give you a taste of what Every Prompt can do. So I've landed on a new team here. Uh, you can see I got put in this empty function, but we also have this samples folder that you get that comes with some functions that kind of show you both the power of GPT-3 and then like how you can format prompts with Every Prompt. So um, one of the key features of Every Prompt is that if you wrap anything in these double curly braces, it'll create um, an input variable in your function. Uh, and that lets you kind of create some pretty powerful things in terms of uh, functions that you can integrate into your application. So um, you can see here's my prompt. So this is what's going to get sent to the OpenAI API and get completed by GPT-3. Uh, so we have our options for which model you would like to select. Um, these are just the various sizes of the GPT-3 text models. Uh, you need to be on the Codex beta to access Codex. Um, stop tokens, so this is like a list of strings that the model will stop at if it sees and temperature, which is kind of like creativity or randomness. And then there's some other options you can play with if you know what you're doing. Um, and yeah, so what will happen if I type something in here is it will insert whatever is in this text box in place of the variable when it submits the prompt to uh, GPT-3. So you can see, because I've formatted this superhero name, origin story, name, origin story, it's gonna come up with an origin story for Catbot. So um, it seems to have developed a semi-realistic uh, origin story for a superhero named Catbot. Um, and you know this is kind of just a fun example, but this is, uh, similar format in terms of um, giving examples and then asking it to fill in the last one that you can use for a lot of things like you know um, parsing unstructured data or even like filling in JavaScript objects that might represent data within your application. So one of the cool things about um, about every prompt is we have some features that make it really nice to uh, interact with these models. So you can see here we have this history tab which shows you every function uh, call that you've ever done for the current function and if you change something and then you press uh, the restore button uh, in the function tab it'll restore whatever you change in the prompt to the state of that run so basically anytime you run something a snapshot saved so you never lose your information um, the same thing will happen if you call the function via an API which I'll show you how to do now so if you hit the deploy button what it's gonna do is it's gonna take a snapshot of what's in the editor and throw it up on an endpoint that you can call. If you click this little view documentation link, it'll show you how to do that. So you can see the variables are automatically parsed out of the prompt. Um, and so uh, whenever you create a deployment, um, I could just make another one quickly with a smaller model. Um, hit deploy again. You can see I have my past deployments so I can roll back any changes if I want to uh, you know, change something that was in the application um, and uh, the API calls from that endpoint will start to populate here. So um, history and deployments are kind of two of the main features. Uh, we also have sharing. So if you uh, create a shareable link for your function, uh, you'll be able to have a nice little share page where other people can have inputs. Um, we have the ability to um, rename folders um, uh, and create new folders, rename functions. Um, so it's just all the kind of basic things you need to stay organized. Um, the stats page will populate with any stats from your deployed functions, and then models and data sets are for fine-tuning models and collecting grades based on in-production applications. If that's something you're interested in, that's part of our pro plan, so uh, feel free to reach out to us about that. So yeah, that's kind of a quick overview of the Every Prompt Playground. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to uh, me, Jacob, at everyprompt.com. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm excited to see what you build.